I'm sorry, Alex. I'm not. <clears throat> did that? Did he, is that good? Okay. George, I do have a question for you. Okay. I don't know between yourself and Deputy um Deputy Harley. I'm investigator Harley, I'm sorry. No. Um on on the bond, is there a threshold where property would be required to secure a bond in that county? Do you know? Um I I don't no, I don't know. What What do you mean? Having to use just the specific property in Harris County? No. Well, in 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 Muscogee County, if the bond is, let's say, a eighty thousand dollar bond, then the sheriff here requires property to secure that bond. Okay. Do you know about that, Investigator Hartley? The only thing I know is typically when they do a property, use property for a bond here, it has to be property in Harris County. Right, I got that. That's not the question. The question is, if the bond is at a certain amount. Oh, does the property have to be double that? 
or no, ma'am. You're asking if there's if the bond is a certain amount, do you have to use property? Also, you can't just do just cash. Yes. Correct. Mm -hmm. Okay. I, 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 investigator Hart Artlet, a second question. <coughs> Judge, yeah, can I interrupt? This is Major Webb. This is Major Webb from the jail, Mr. Thomas. She can answer that question, your first question. I don't know if Major Webb, she probably put out a warrant for me, Judge. I have, but it's okay. Oh, oh, see? <laughs> Hey, How are you doing? How are you doing, sweetheart? Nice to All see right. you. You too. Um, okay, we do not require, if it's $80,000, it does not have to be a property bond. It can be cash, it can be property, or it can be... Um, a combination. Bondsman. Or okay. a combination, it can be. But the if it is property, it has to, the value has to double the amount. Okay. What about ankle monitors? Is the sheriff, is the sheriff is, if the, if it's a court ordered ankle monitor, does the, the sheriff's department um, equip the defendant with ankle monitor? Uh, we do have a couple of bonding companies that do that, and they can be called. Nice. We're ready. We're ready then, Judge. Okay. All right. How are we proceeding, Mr. Jasper? Your Honor, I, I I'll make the announcement. I think Mr. Jasper's gone. He's muted. Mr. Jasper's muted. Judge. There you go. Your Honor. Yes, sir. Um, I can make the announcement on behalf of Mr. Caleb Gary. Okay. Your Honor, for the purpose of these proceedings this morning, we're going to enter a plea of not guilty. We will waive any right that my client has to a preliminary hearing. We will further waive any right that he may have to an in-person um, um, hearing. And we will stipulate that he there's no violation in the Constitution of violation or due process violation. With that being said, Judge, in exchange for that particular announcement, we have agreed to an aggregate of $50,000 bond that they defend that Mr. Gary will be equipped with an anchor monitor that Mr. Uh, Gary will have no contact with the victims in this case neither will he have any contact of any kind by social media phone or any electronic device with any of the co-defendants he will be restricted to this judicial circuit with the exception of Harris County, he will be banished from Harris County during the pendency of this action, with the exception of going to court or other court proceedings in Harris County. And that will be my announcement for Mr. Gary. Mr. Gary, Mr. Thomas will prepare the order. He will send it to Mr. to the prosecutor, who will in turn sign and send it to, to Your Honor. Okay. Mr. Jasper, um, Mr. Jasper, Mr. Jasper, was my announcement correct, sir? You were accurate. You were right on the spot. Thank you. All right, Mr. Jarrett. Uh, Your Honor, yeah, we would like to make the same announcement. We'd like to waive the um, the preliminary hearing and agree to the fifty thousand dollar bond, the banishment from Harris County, and the um, the ankle monitor and any other conditions that his co defendant um, have been imposed <laughs> by the court. All right. Are you doing the order as well, or is, do you would you do you want the court to prepare the bond conditions, or? Um, I would like the court to prepare it if I could. Um, you know, look at it before I uh, before it goes over to the ADA, so I can sign off on it. Your Honor. Okay. Right. Is that guy, is that how you guys do it, or do you guys? Well, Mr. Thomas says he's going to prepare prepare for his client, then send it to Mr. Jasper, and then they're going to send it to me. I will agree to these stipulations. I will agree to the bonds that you've agreed to and all of the, the stipulations, um, and I will bind the cases over as they are. The main thing is just having something from my court to the the jail for the, the defendants so they know what their bond conditions are. Now, we may, I don't know how quickly you can do that, Mr. Thomas, um, I know my clerk's here. She's written them up. Oh, well, Your Honor, Your Honor, I think I think for 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 to be more ex expeditious, I think if your clerk does it, I, I I will be satisfied with that, Judge. 
Okay. All right. So we'll um, we'll go over it. We'll we'll have everything written down that you said. And Mr. Jared, as you say, every is it everything that Mr. Thomas said in regards to his client for your oh, yes. um yes, Your Honor. Okay. Let me see. So, Mr. Gary and Mr. Rosser, you've heard what your attorneys have said. Do you understand everything here today? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So, you know that I've agreed to a um, bond. Are they both the ankle monitors, Mr. Jarrett? Uh, yes, Your Honor. Um, okay. I think it's the exact same. So you will have an ankle monitor and the the parameters of the ankle monitor will be will be monitored by the agency that that puts it on um you'll have no contact with the victims and you each other cannot have any contact with each other do you understand that yes, okay hey, judge, judge i forgot one thing your honor yes sir i forgot one thing um mr jasper wanted to ensure that they understand that the responsibility for keeping the monitors charged would be the defendant's um, responsibility. And if at any time the monitor is tampered with, if he's not charged, that would be considered a violation of the bond. Did I say that correct, Mr. Jasper? Yes, sir. Yes. Do you understand that, gentlemen? Yes, sir. I have a question. So, okay. along with everything, so my mother, like I was, I told the the head of over this jail, I had sent her an email on the inmate inquiry. So my mom, she's a power attorney of my granddad, and my granddad, he's been in mental state type of jail. So she gets a VA check. So my mom gave me, I, I counted 52 20s in my glove department. Because she don't want, I have two keys. She has a spare key, and I have my money inside you know, my glove department. A thousand dollars was going to my school. I only made it to ninth grade. So I was trying to put the money towards Pam Foster so I could do my schooling at home. So that was like the whole, you know, application type of thing before this happened. I was going to go pay that. So money is in my vehicle or whatever like that. They said they was trying to spot it as a civil force. I don't know what that means. Oh, oh. That's Mr. Gary speaking, Your Honor. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Mr. Gary, Mr. Thomas will come over and speak to you about that. Okay, I don't want you to say anything else because anything you say can and will be used against you. Yeah, so, no, like no. Mr. Mr. Thomas will come and see you. Okay. All right. All right. So you all understand as well that you you cannot come to Harris County unless you are coming to court. So yeah, that's another yeah. condition. And so is there any other questions regarding the conditions that I've given you that your attorneys have reiterated to you? Any of the bonds and all of the procedures and the ankle monitors, the jail's going to assist you with all of that. And then you'll be in contact with your attorneys. All right, do I need to go over anything else? Mr. Thomas, Mr. Jarrett, Mr. Jasper? Um, Your Honor, you said the, the court is going to prepare the order. Is that correct? I'll prepare, yes, I'll prepare the orders and we'll um, send them over to the jail. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Your Honor. That's all for me. All right. Me and my Investigator client. Hartley, anything else? No, ma'am. Oh, ma I don't think so. Okay. Well, thank Sorry. you all for being Yes, sir. That's all I have, Judge. May I be excused, ma'am? Nay. Thank you all for being here. We are adjourned. And Judge, can you, you can you tell Major Webb that I come see her soon? Tell her don't um haul off on the warrant for me. Tell her. All right, I, I won't sign it yet, Mr. Thomas. Thank you, Judge. You're you welcome. guys be safe. God bless. Y'all too. All right, have a good one. Thank Bye -bye. you. Bye bye. <laughs>